Great. Well, um, great to be on the show again. <coughs> um, I actually Tom, we miss you, and we need you to say the word inconceivable because some of these guys don't quite get how well it can be said. You don't. They don't understand how I say inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> it's inconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> Hit us with it, your genius, Tom. I actually have more than one hack. Uh, so you know what? I could ring off and ring back on, or I could do this a two-parter, or whatever is best for you guys. Lay in Lay on through. us. Okay, well, this first thing, it's actually not nearly as big a deal as any mind might build it up to be. It's just a simple little game that I built using a microcontroller. It's got five LEDs. It's got two buttons. It's got a speaker and a battery. So it's, it's a car racing game where you shift gears and, you, and the speaker means you have to hear it too. So I'm going to take off my headset and put it close to the device and play it real quick. Okay, here I go. So that's it. Um, you know, when you uh, when you actually finish the 15 turns on the race, then the lights light up to show you uh, what place you scored, and it plays a tune. You know, when I was a kid, this would have been more than enough of a game for me. I don't think kids today <laughs> would really appreciate it. Well, you know, it was. You know, it, there's always a trade-off between you know hardware and software, and I'm a software guy, and this uh, this chip has 2K of you know, of flash storage. So I had 2K to model my torque and my gear ratio and my my drag and you know kind of have fun with it. You know, in a in a space that from hardware wise is really really simple. Can you really get your head around? Um, you're going around a corner and imagine all of this. Honestly, nobody's ever played this game except me, and it's very possible no one ever will. <laughs> I'd like to try it sometime. All right. Well, I I put the schematics up on the uh, Fat Man and Circuit Girl forums earlier, and I could certainly append the very latest version of the code. Thanks. Uh, and, and once again, the the gameplay element is that you you have to shift at just the right time. It's about the gear shifting right. to get the maximum at a given speed. Right. How right. do you know you're and going you into a corner? Well, the the motor winds down, and you have to, and it, the light flashes to show what gear you need to be in for the corner, and you have a shorter period of time to switch gears down to that gear, or you crash. Uh, guess what? You're a good game designer. <laughs> <laughs> I've well, I've heard of people make much worse games with a whole lot more bits. <laughs> Well, I just like the idea of you know the the fiddlies and the electronics and the the LEDs. That's all fun, but I gotta be me. I gotta make games. Yeah, baby. Well, well, show us the other hack, Jack. Got it. Okay, this hack is really topical because of what you were just showing. Your laser cutter. I have a friend named uh, Rick Pollock here in Ohio, and he happens to have purchased pretty much exactly the same laser cutter that Jerry did. And so we've been having a lot of fun with it, and I came up with these. These are my business cards, but they're also a spaceship game. So each of these is a fold-out piece of paper, and we laser cut all the perforations, including the perforations for cutting out, popping out the little spaceships and the little markers. <laughs> The rules are here. A distance measurement for playing on the tabletop is on the edge of the card here. And then down here in the bottom is, uh, is my actual business card personal information. I've got uh, four different fleets that I can hand people that have different characteristics. 
That's great. And, and anybody can can get this card, and then they can say, "Wow, that's cool! I'm gonna I'm gonna punch out these little ships." Wait, where'd he go? And play a tabletop game with little spaceships. Well, that we definitely would make an impression with whoever you hand it to. That was entirely the intention. And, uh, and again, all the perforations, the punch-outs, we did using the laser cutter just like the one you have. And those are procedurally, if I know you, those are procedurally generated spaceships and no two are alike, correct? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. But, I mean, you know, I can procedurally generate spaceships, so I have thousands of spaceships just lying around on my hard drive, so... You know, I picked some. <laughs> I'm the same way with cockroaches, you know. Thousands exactly. of them. My hard drive. So, <laughs> so that's that's my two hacks. I just wanted to show you the cool little electronic game that I made. You know, of which, you know, I'm sharing the uh, the simple schematic on the forums and I'll be happy to share the the C code. And uh, I also wanted to show off these cool business cards I made. If you meet me at a at a trade show or whatever, I'll give you one. Nice. I love it. <laughs> That's great. What's the next trade you're going through, Tom, so we can meet you? Uh, I'm going to PAX, uh, the Penny Arcade Expo so, uh, in Seattle. Well, and we'll happen to be there, too. Save one for me. Absolutely. And then uh, I'll be at the Austin Game, Con Aim Game Conference. And then after that, I'll be at a little... Um, kind of uh, brainstorming smart group called uh, Project Horseshoe. Oh, I've heard of that. That's famous. That's run by the fat man, isn't it? I know. <laughs> I owe somebody money. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Tom. Tom. That, that's great. We'll be, that's in, great. we'll be in the same place same three place. times. So I'll get to I'll so get I'll to get, get good at your game. And play game. Absolutely. Show us what you look like so we can find you at the at the places. I, I know what you look like, but if these guys are going to PAX, too, you need to know who to look for. Tom Robertson, Wait. Tech Bear. i got to fiddle my camera. There I am. Doing my headset thing. <laughs> good luck. Getting good. So.